Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Favi, and welcome to Arrows DIY. On my channel, I like to do Dollar Tree DIYs, high-end dupes, thrift flips, and the occasional trash to treasure. Today, I'm going to be showing you one DIY. So this video is a little shorter than my normal mm -hmm. videos. I just made a video three days ago with a whole bunch of pumpkin inspiration, and there's a giveaway on that video. So I'll be sure to link that at the end of this video. But for this video, I'm just going to do this tray. Actually, I'm making a sign inspired by this tray that I saw at Target. It says thankful, and I thought it was so charming and very beautiful. I took this tray from the Dollar Tree, and it's a large platter tray. And I'm going to go ahead mm -hmm. and I'm going to use this galvanized metal piece. It says thankful on it. Now, I use this thankful word on a wreath last year that was way before i had a youtube channel my youtube channel is only five months old so i would appreciate it if you guys um like this diy to um subscribe or hit that thumbs up button it really helps my channel to grow so i took that and some super glue the tiny one size one time use ones and I just put little dots all around that as well as hot glue on different spots on this word. Next I just took some masking tape and I just taped it down just to help it secure properly. Once it was nice and dry and the glue was set I went ahead and took off the tape as carefully as I could and I'm not too worried about this hot glue, um, about this super glue not working because the packet actually said it works great for metal and plastic. So it should be there for a long time. I set that aside to dry and then once that was dry, like I said earlier, I just took off the masking tape as carefully as possible. And then we're just going to prep this for painting. Now the way I prep this is I take some Mod Podge. You can use any Mod Podge doesn't matter really because it's going to be painted over but the Mod Podge is supposed to help the paint adhere properly. Now just clean your surface if it has any glue residue, hot glue residue, just go ahead and peel that off, scratch that off and then I'm going to use this sponge brush to apply this Mod Podge in a nice thin even layer all over this tray as, as well as the word as well. I said as well already sorry <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just you know give it a nice coat and once that's nice and dry we're gonna go in with some paint so I do fast forward a lot of this process because I do this to relax I do this for art therapy if you don't know and you're new here I'm a mother of five and life can get really hectic <laughs> so I like to paint um, and do DIYs on my spare time. So now I'm going to go in with this folk art home decor color chalk paint in the color castle and I'm going to give this one nice coat. And you want to be sure to get into all of the nooks and crannies because you don't want any of that original color showing on the tray. So I just go ahead and take my time and get into all those spots. Once the tray is completely covered, I go ahead and I use another chalk paint. Now the other chalk paint I use is the color Spanish Moss. And I really like that color, Spanish Moss, but I don't use too much of it because I do want it to accent the word thankful and little spots around the tray but I don't want it to overpower the tray. I want this tray to be very simple and plain because my other decor pieces are very vibrant in color and I wanted this one to be a nice neutral piece. So once this is fully coated, I go ahead and I add that Spanish moss. But before that, I set it aside to dry. Now this is part of a DIY fall challenge and there's a whole group of us creators coming together 
with the theme of Halloween or Thanksgiving. I do not celebrate Halloween, so I'm doing Thanksgiving for this thankful tray. This is hosted by the lovely Heidi Sombol DIY. I'll leave her link in the description below, as well as the playlist in the description mm -hmm. below. But check out her channel because she's so talented and inspired me to start my channel. Okay, so this is the part where I actually use the Spanish moss, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> and I just go ahead and I trace these letters. I just go over the letters and I want it to go over the outside of the letters as well, just to give it like a little shadowing of green. Green is one of my fall colors this fall. If you could believe it, I know I have so many colors. I love making unique DIYs, Mackenzie Childs inspired or high end inspired DIYs. So this is one of the high end inspired DIYs. And I will have another high-end inspired DIY on the 13th of October. If you're interested, be sure to hit that bell when you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. That way you won't miss my new videos. I have so much to share for this upcoming holiday season. So as you can see, I also go all around the borders of this tray as well as the inside. So once I finished with the first few letters and my paintbrush got a little dry of paint, that's when I dry brushed around that word, thankful. I only wanted little tiny pieces, okay? Little tiny strokes of the green color around the word then I do go heavy around the edges. Now don't worry, I know it looks kind of crazy right now, but we are gonna go over it one more time with the castle at the end of this process. So then I go ahead and I do the same thing to the other side of the word, and once my paintbrush is dry, I do the same thing, dry brushing all around with that nice green color. Now I'm going in with some antique wax from Home Decor, folk art and I'm gonna go and I really want to get into those little nooks and crannies to make this look distressed now don't worry guys I know I go heavy but we're gonna go over it one more time with that castle color now that's the beauty of DIY you don't have to worry if you make a mistake you could always use more paint and cover that up so I just go a little heavy around the edges I wanted to I wanted it to look very distressed and kind of random so that's why I go kind of crazy with that antique wax. Now, like I said, we're gonna go over the letters with this original um, castle color, the chalk paint color. And you see, it brings up that thankful word, it's so nice, and I love how, how soft it is. You can still see the word thankful, but it's not, you know, jumping out of the sign. So I really like this. And I think it will really complement any fall home decor. Now I know this is Thanksgiving, but I think we should be thankful all year round. Although I love Thanksgiving, it is my favorite holiday. We are very vocal about our thankfulness, but I think we should be thankful all year. So you could even use this tray every day for your everyday decor. Now I do go over this one more time with antiquing wax just to accentuate those words a little tiny bit more and I use my Dollar Tree kitty brush for that. It's my favorite distressor of all time. If you're new to my channel, you wouldn't know that. But if you're not new, you know how much I love that brush. And here it is, all done, staged with some of my pumpkins that I just made in my previous video and some of my other DIYs. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And here are some videos you might enjoy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.